degree, angle side angle and angle angle side. Basically on both of these, it's telling you that if you have two angles and you have a side, either one of them is going to work. Now angle side angle, the side is directly between the two angles that you know, or you could have two angles in a row and then a side after the uh, second angle. It's just kind of hard to talk about whenever you're not in person, but we're going to make it work. So we can have an we can have a side angle side, which is what we did in K1. We can have an angle side angle or an angle angle side, which is on this one. Just to let you know, we are not going to ever have an angle side side. We do not ever have an angle side side because we do not like to have bad words in high school. Okay, so there's never going to be an angle side side or the backwards of that, which would be side side angle. Those basically mean the same thing. Never, ever, ever. Okay, so on this, when it says angle, angle, side, we're going to have two angles in a row and then a side. And all of these are two angles in a row and then a side, but this side is a one and that side's a one, so we're going to be doing these right here. So we have V, W, X is congruent, and since this V is the angle that doesn't have a marker, we're going to put R first because it does not have a marker. Then we said W, which has two markers, so the next one's F, so then it would be Q. Angle side angle, two angles in a row with a side between them. Okay, all of these are angle side angle because they're two angles and then a side between them. But in these two, there's just one tick mark. On this one, it has two, so it can't be that one. So it'd be E, G, F. And since I used E first, it doesn't have an angle marker. So that's going to be R, G would be S, and then T.